Hello guys and girls and welcome to another episode of watching Giant Deer Antler Grove. Uh, <clears throat> probably won't be watching so much Giant Deer Antlers Grow. We might tr name that this week watching changing deer antlers because we are in a situation right now where the deer in the last week or two many of them have gone from soft velvet horns to hard horns hard horns now we've still got some deer we've still got some deer that are in uh, in velvet hopefully we'll be able to get to look at them but we've got a lot of deer that's got hard horns already and now one of the things that happens once they get hard horns is you need to start watching them they get a little bit dangerous and uh, Forrest is beginning to act up just a little bit he's beginning to act up just a little bit um, and that uh, Whitey and uh, and it seems to be okay so far, and uh, uh, Snoopy seems to be okay so far. But we've got some deer, still got some soft horns. So we're going to go in the pens, just uh, take a look right uh, at the Brotherhood, see what they look like. We'll go in the corrals and look, and then uh, before it gets dark, we hope uh, before it gets dark, we can take a look and uh, and feed some carrots to Prince Charming and his uh, beautiful bride, Snow White. And those aren't his two boys in there. Remember, those two boys belong to another deer. They, he thinks they're his, but they're not. They're not. They're not. But it's just about to get dark. I left Chris with the babies, with little Whitey and, uh, and Wildchire, feeding them a big bowl of stuff that I fixed up. And I just, I, I wanted to wait till almost dark just because it's so hot. It got to 103 degrees yesterday, 104 today. Here it is the end of September. And I wanted to wait just because it got so hot. And I just don't want those deer moving around too much. As I'm looking at them up here, they're pretty much just laying, laying in the pen. So uh, let's get my carrot bag and go in there and get with, uh, with, uh, with Split Ear and, uh, and her buddies and feed them some carrots. Take a look at the babies, see how they're growing. And take a look at Whitey, uh, who's been a little bit ill. Take a look at Whitey, and also take a look at Gumball and um, Snoopy, Gumball, Snoopy, Gumball, Snoopy, Gumball, Snoopy. Speaking of them, right there he is laying down. This is a great place to get the antlers video started this week. And you see we pretty much, <clears throat> pretty much have hard antlers. We have one deer over there. Uh, that does not have hard antlers. His antlers are hard, he just hasn't got the velvet off. That could happen today, as a matter of fact. We got all of our boys right here. Uh, Patchy is out there messing around with his truck. His truck hadn't been running. They're waiting on him to bring food because we still have not got our last order of Southfresh deer food out of Decatur, Alabama, which is three pallet loads. And one of the reasons that we haven't got <laughs> our food is uh, they're just selling so much. They're selling so much horse food down there and fish food, tremendous amount of fish food. So many people have changed over to South Fresh and had tremendous results with it. And uh, so we've had a hard time. They just have not had time to run. Uh oh, I hear geese. Oh, there they go right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Could you see them go through there? You can hear them, I know. Oh, there they go through the trees over there gonna land on the water. You can't see very good there. Well, I tell you what, that's some lousy camera work, huh? But we can take a look at Forrest here. He's been up here eating some uh, squash out of my hands. You can see he knows he's a, he's a big boy right now. He's keeping everybody really basically away from me. You can see his father there has not got all of the stuff off of his antlers yet. He's had that hanging for about a week or so. Uh, he's got pretty hard, hard antlers there, but not totally. You look at the little guy over there. That's a little, is that the one we started calling 13, I think, I don't know, but he's still got, he's still got, as you can see, velvet on his horns, but it won't be long until they're off. Hard horns right there, and hard horn, we got soft horns right there, a little, little buck right there, and uh, is that a little deer even tag? Surely he is. I can't tell if that deer's tagged or not. Oh yeah, he's got a white tag in him over there. Yeah, he's got a white tag. So that would be his second set of horns also. Maybe his third, but he's got, they're not big, they're not giant, but they're, they're a nice pretty little rack. Got a lot of points on them out there. He's 10 or 11 points. You can see TC, we can zoom in a little bit tighter on him. Take a great look at him right there. Got double brown tines, and I'm gonna tell you what, Forest is feeling his oats. Now it's beginning to get to the dangerous time of the year and you gotta be really careful. I fed Forrest some, some uh, stuff, squash that I cut up this morning. And uh, look at him, he's getting very aggressive. 
he's keeping everybody away from me really it's pretty amazing what he seems to be trying to do there and uh, patsy's out there messing with his truck we've got a, a garlic block there we finally found a garlic block it's got some garlic in it uh, that they can lick and hopefully keep the ticks and the flies off of them a little bit better and it seems to be working pretty well the deer just don't seem to be <clears throat> have many ticks on them right now we're still having temperatures uh it was 103 degrees here yesterday 103 degrees here yesterday we're still having <laughs> he just comes right back up here to me he comes right around and gets stands right beside me it's almost like he's protecting me from those other deer <laughs> no don't, don't be doing anything with those horns you see him put those horns down right there that's what you got to kind of watch for they can be dangerous even somebody's sweet as forest the testosterone gets going and and it's sort of like i don't know you're gonna go over here and molly is looking kind of pretty to him she's turned out so well that cyst or whatever that grew on her went away and she's turned out beautiful she's about to get her winter coat you can see that this guy's almost got his total winter coat all right well we've kind of taken a look at all of these babies up close these house bucks that we have here and see that Forrest is developing an attitude and you know he may be the king of the block looky here looky here right up here real close you want to get a close look at aught six nine on one side there for aught six and the other side has got a little bump on it there i didn't even notice that that bump but he's got a little bump there so i don't know maybe in the future some of that might break through but i doubt it i, I doubt it i don't know i mean i just don't know but we know he's going to have one side there always we'll be able to find those a close look up at, do we call him Lucky 13? Is that his number? I can't really tell. 13, that's him. Little Lucky 13. I get confused in him and that one right there. And now they are a year different in age, but I get kind of confused at those. This would be this little guy's very first horns. And you see they're very small, but now you remember, you remember Snoopy. You remember Snoopy. We'll be taking a look at Snoopy here after a while. Snoopy was small like that, much smaller than that, as a matter of fact. And Snoopy turned into a really, really champion. Well, that's looking at the house deer up close. We've looked at them for a long time. I get kind of carried away looking at these things and just keep talking and looking. We've got does coming around out there, waiting on Apache, and he's fooling around with his truck. And they're saying, Apache, we're hungry for breakfast. Look at that magnificent specimen right there. TC, the father of the bunch. Before we go in the pens, in the, in the corrals, I gotta tell you, that's pretty right there. I gotta tell you, that's pretty. That's pretty. There's, uh, there's Whitey laying there right in the middle, right in the middle, and, and we had burned a lot of that hay. We scraped it up in a pile and burned it. Looks like he's laying right in the burned area. And uh, he's been acting a little sickly here lately, but we've given him a few shots. But golly, it's 100 degrees out here. It's just amazing. But before we go in there, uh, I just thought I'd take a look at that because that's pretty right there. He's laying there with some of his girls. There was, uh, there's uh, one, two, three, four of them. They kind of got him surrounded there. Like I've got a harem is what he says. He's got four girls that are laying there with him, all mature does. And... Uh, they're all laying there. You look over here in this other burnt area where we burnt the hay over there, and uh, you also see a bunch of deer laying in that that burnt hay. So it's uh, they they kind of like laying in those areas. It it appears. It just looks like they like laying in that area where we burn off. I don't know why. It just maybe feels good to them or something. I just don't know. Split ear, of course, is right here waiting for me to get in the pen, get in the corrals, and I'm going to open that gate and go through there right now. Uh, we did get our southwest deer food in, so. Everybody's got plenty of great South Fresh deer food to eat. Everybody's doing pretty good. We have had some illness problem. We've been going through a lot of medicine, and so far, everything's working pretty well. Uh, we did lose a doe. We lost a baby doe also, so it's been been pretty difficult. Uh, right here at the end of the summer, where we're supposed to get, start getting some cool weather, and we'll be turning all these babies loose here uh, sometime at the end of October, once those deer begin to sort of get in a the rut. They're okay right now. Everything's good. But uh, look at Mr. Whitey laying there. And we're going to get in there and look at him close and kind of take a look at him and see how he, he is. Maybe watch him walk around a little bit, I hope. He's, uh, he's not walking real, real good. Uh, but he's uh, just kind of going kind of slow. But, hey, I'm going kind of slow in this 100-degree-plus weather myself. 
you, you see him right there before we get in there. I, I, my, he might have been laying there a minute ago. Like, there was four or five deer laying there. I don't know if he was laying there or not. There was four or five deer laying there with, uh, and I, I, but I didn't think he was laying there. I thought it was just does laying there. I don't know. Uh, I was so looking at Whitey, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention, but right there, right there is, uh, we're looking at him through, we don't want to look at him through wire, but uh, we're looking at him there. You can see that, you remember how small his horns were last year? Look at them now. Now they're narrow, but buddy, they're long tines. And then, Mr. Whitey over there, he's looking pretty good, but he's just not totally well. Let's get in there with him. Okay, there's Gumball. And there's Whitey. I'm gonna just walk up here close. They're still laying right there and I'm in here with them. I don't know if he's gonna get up or not. He's uh, he just laying there. Let's just walk up here and, and take a look at him and try to I'm gonna put this on a monopod so I can kind of look and move it around. You can see he's got just about all of the velvet off of his antlers. He's looking pretty good. He's got a little bit of velvet left up there but he's got most of them off. You can see how he looks. Now you look at his body. He's big and fat. And we still are not sure if that's some sort of growth or it might be a cyst or whatever. Uh, somebody sent me something right out of uh, some kind of deer medical book, I think it was. And it uh, is something that really is not going to hurt him. It might have been what Molly had, or a little doe back in the, uh, back in the winter time or last spring. Or I guess she, well, she wasn't born in the winter. She born in it, so she's just a, you know, she's a yearling. So uh, I guess it was back in the summertime. She had that big cyst come up on her neck and obviously we couldn't catch her or anything. We didn't do anything and she actually, it, it finally went away. It broke and drained out and went away and you can't, now, can't tell now she's even sick. But you take a look at him there. He just looks beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, uh, look at him from another angle or two. But while we're here, uh, while we're here, there is, uh, okay, I got other deer coming up wanting these carrots. So I'm gonna have to stop and, and do some carrot feeding here. Split ears on the other side. I'm going to go over where she is. and We'll come back and look at the bucks here in a minute. But uh, you can see Gumball looks absolutely gorgeous there. Uh, he's still laying down, not getting up at all. Just looking at his narrow horns, but long tines all the way around. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deer. Okay, I got them pulling on my, pulling on my bag now. I got a bunch of carrots. Let's go feed carrots. We'll come back and look at the bucks here in a minute. <laughs> Oh, hey, 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 look at, look at her. She got a hold of the bag. She got a hold of the bag. Okay, okay. All right, baby, here. Here, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. Let me put that down just a little bit, a little bit lower. I'm going to back away from here. I'm going to back. Hey, hey, you can't eat them through the bottom. I got it all unlevel. Everything is looking bad. This might be the worst video in the world, but, <laughs> but we're having fun. And I've got a lot of carrots. Looky there, baby. There's some for you out there. And right now, somebody, one or two of your buddies stole some carrots over there while I was on the other side. That's my girl. You're looking skinny, girl. I know you got tons to eat. You're just getting old, aren't you? Huh? You get old and you lost a little weight, hadn't you? Mm -hmm. That carrot. Look at her get that carrot. Where's, the, where's your other buddies that's always in here begging with you, huh? You're such a pretty girl. You're getting old. Yeah, you're getting old. How old are you anyway, huh? We keep talking about it. We, I never had time to look. You're a carrot muncher, aren't you? You all want some carrots too? Hmm? How about you? You want a carrot? Of course, they've got a lot of South Fresh today, so they're not super hungry. They just like carrots as a great treat. And uh, I don't know how many I can get gathered up here. I had a baby, a doe over there that almost was eaten out of my hands a minute ago. She come very close but didn't want to do it. You'll eat it out of my hands though, won't you, baby, huh? Said, I don't want to be petted though. <laughs> Woo, I love it. All I brought was carrots. I don't have any apples. I'm out of apples. I'm out of apples. Yes, I am. <laughs> I got big ones and little ones. I'll give you all some back there too. How about some of you babies? You want some carrots? Huh? <laughs> Split ear says, I'm not leaving until that bag runs empty. Oh, you're a pretty girl. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Yeah. How about you, Green Tag? Huh? Come on up here if y'all want to eat out of my hand. Here. 
Yeah. Bean tag, you're a carrot muncher too. You usually up here getting in the bag. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, there's a big one. I bet you could feed them 10 pounds and they would still be eating them. They, they're they're kind of like I am at Brahms or with Bluebell. It don't matter how big the bowl is, however much ice cream's in it, I eat it. I tell you what I did the other day when I was coming back from, I was coming back from Illinois this last week. I stopped at a place and they had Highland ice cream, pretty good ice cream. Springfield, Missouri is where it was. We had Johnny Morris is eating a ton of Highland ice cream. Probably more than I'll ever eat, as a matter of fact. But uh, they had it in there in pints. I bought a whole pint and I ate it driving down the road. Got me a plastic spoon and ate it driving down the road. An entire pint, an entire pint. You know why I bought a pint of, of, of Highland and ate the whole thing? Because they didn't have quartz. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> you guys, I brought a lot. I brought a whole bag. I brought a whole two-pound bag. They never did send me my coupons to get a discount on these things. If I got a discount, say like 50% off, I could buy twice as much. Yeah, I could buy twice as much. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. I hope all the audio and everything's coming out right on this. Not that it really matters. Just some deer eating carrots. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just some deer eating carrots, huh? What do you mean, just some deer eating carrots? This is like the highlight of my day right here when this happens, yeah. Yeah. I'm about out, guys, I'm about out. I'm about out. We'll take a look at these babies here and see how they're growing. Because we, oh, look at that big carrot, oh my gosh. Look at that big carrot, oh my gosh. That's it, guys and girls, that's it. <laughs> that's it, that's it, it's all there. <laughs> Okay, that's three or four minutes of carrot feeding right there. Everything is everything's all crooked and bad, but we'll straighten it up here and we're gonna take a look at some ah she's pulling on the bag. Look at her pulling on the bag. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, tearing up Susan's bag. <laughs> Let's take a look at the babies. We'll look at the bucks a little bit. We'll try to get up there. We'll get, try to get up there and take a look at uh, try to get up there and take a look at Prince Charming before it gets dark because it's getting close. It's getting close. <laughs> 